you're fucking growing up, huh? <laughs> Can, I <laughs> Can I have it? Can I have it? I actually don't have a bottle. And we're not meant to be using plastics anymore. <laughs> It's alright. No, it's a good one, man. Yeah. Can I can I keep it? Yeah. I'm Thank you. Right. I think it's just there for the press now, and then I reckon after. No one will notice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, congratulations on the win. Just yeah. A crazy finish. What were your thoughts? Yeah, I thought I was in pretty groundhog day. <laughs> Cheddar's off to the last three weeks, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm just you know, one of the players just said to me in the change room, he doesn't reckon we win that game last year, you know, just. I think the connection that the group has and how much it means to them and things like that is, is, is being pretty special. I think that's probably what got us over the line. We we didn't play great rugby the whole game. It was probably the worst performance of the three so far. But uh, I think just the resolve that we showed and, and that at the end of the game was, was great. Yeah, the heart that was displayed in those, those final 10 minutes, yeah. what do you think that signifies for the team in general? And, and what yeah. Oh, I think to be honest, that's also been that's been that's been the whole last probably month or so. You know, like uh, we got on tour, we I actually was racing to the border at ACT one night. Uh, we had 65 people on the in cars. I wasn't sure where we were going to stay. You know, like we were it was midnight. I, thought I was lining up a, a night sleeping in my car. You know, so that's where we started uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I think the the, the players have uh, really handled that well and things have been thrown at us has actually been a blessing for the group because it's, it's made us more resilient and um, as I said in there I thought uh, you know the leaders have done a great job with us but I'm also proud we're missing a lot of players we're missing Cameron Orr, Matt Gibbon, Jordan Elisi, uh, Rob Liotta, Brad Wilkin, Issy Nassarani, Dane Hillard Petty, Campbell Magne, Louis Holland, Gerald Skelton um, you know I'm, I'm sure I've missed people in that mix Brad Wilkin uh, uh, and so we've got a lot of young players out there, and I thought uh, uh, as much as the leaders did their job, I thought the young players have really brought a lot of energy, and it's added a lot of depth to our group, which I think is going to be important, you know, uh, not, not just at the end of this season, but probably for the next couple of years. Yeah. Home is within sight now. How does that feel to know that you're going Yeah, to... geez, I just can't wait to just see my kids now t- tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure they're as excited, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> it's been nice. And just from a place yeah, it just kind of summed up the last year kind of thing. It was um, if if if, <laughs> if the last year has taught us anything, it's that you know if if we stick it with it together, if we you know work hard, um, you know good outcomes tend to happen. Um, and <laughs> we had a red card. And lights are out, scrum and I in line with seven people who we were arguing for about four minutes if we needed seven on the scrum I don't, like it just it was all over the place. But I think you know that like what was there, um, of all the things that weren't there, what was there was heart and resilience and you, you just can't fake that. Um, and so I'm I'm really proud to be going home tomorrow with uh, an away win. Um, and you know, they, they, these this is all a part of our story. Um, this is all a part of our story and it's um, yeah, we, we we will look back at this and know that this was these uh, this was very important for us. And what would it mean to you to, to be able to go back home and play in front of your home fans again? It's, it's been so long. It has. It's uh, gosh, was it sharks? Was it sh- no, not Lions. sharks. Lions. Yeah, Lions last year. So it's been over a year, I think, or about a year. Um, so. Yeah, it, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome to train in, at, at Amy Park. It'll be awesome to um, you know wake up in our own beds and. and people to see our families and stuff and just things like that so um look wins aren't going to come just because now we're at home uh, we're not we're not that naive but i tell you what um we, yeah there's going to be a, an energy lift with amongst the group um the fact that we get to get home so i'm not uh counting my chickens just yet because i think we're flying via adelaide so if something happens tomorrow uh, <laughs> like it wouldn't surprise me either but we'll, we'll wait till we get there yeah i think also like to be honest i feel for the force a bit too right like we've We've been in that situation the last two weeks. The game can either go the other way. You know, they, they showed a lot of spirit too. And um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I thought you know they did a lot a lot right in the game too. You know, so that's the way it goes sometimes. But uh, what it's was a tough conversation. Yeah, the red card. No, look, I mean, I think that's fine. I probably that's probably not the the thing in the game that frustrated me the most. I thought we we just dropped too many ball on starter starter play like we had i think probably five or six starter plays where we gave up the ball in first or second phase it's like you're just not going to win too many games of rugby like that and then we had a, you know the penalty count against us was 
through our own fault was was too high, you know. Like, and so we made we made very hard work of uh, of the game. And um, but yeah, that's again, that's probably not the thing I'm thinking about the most. It's just you know, the pride that I have in, in these guys to stick it out. Pop, Pop actually got injured during the game, and I was I'd actually substituted him, and he sort of <laughs> he uh, he told the. Uh, he told the guy to carry on. He wasn't coming off, you know, which is awesome. You know, just the, the fact that guys want to stay on there and fight for the team and do that sort of stuff is awesome. Yeah, and, and so injury-wise, how did you come out? Uh, yeah, touch wood, I think we found out. Dicky Hardwick's got a bit of a bump on his knee. It's, a, it's a sort of like a corky, so the, 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 the medicals are, are, are satisfied that it's not, nothing too serious, but he's obviously a bit in a bit of, bit of discomfort. And we get a few guys back now uh, next week, which is also good for us. You know, we, we as I said, we've got that long injury list and... Um, uh, to have some fresh bodies come in, uh, we'll just I think just lift the energy in the group when we get home. And, so who do you actually get back next week? Uh, Jordan Lisi's back. Uh, he, he broke his hand uh, playing uh, a couple of weeks ago, so uh, he's back in the mix. Uh, Jarrell Skelton's back in the mix. Louis Holland's back in the mix. Um, hopefully one or two more that is not totally confirmed. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we needed to win, Nick. I mean, uh, Pup and I sat it before the first game, and we sort of said, I think if we get two wins and two bonus points in this first four-game block, with in the context of everything that was happening with our team and the disruption that we were facing, we'd be we, we thought that would be quite a good outcome. Now we, by the last kick of the game, we missed those two wins in the first two rounds. Um, so we really needed to win tonight, and we really need to beat the Waratahs next week to to, to complete that, you know. And then uh, and then we enter a long run of games at home, which is great for us, you know. Uh, Obviously, as Pup said, we haven't done that for more than a year, you know. So, um, yeah, listen, uh, the Waratahs have also come off a bye, you know. So that they'll be they'll, they're going to be tough at home, and we got to we got to enjoy this win because I think winning is important, and you got to enjoy it. But we got to move pretty quickly after that and prepare well. How was the heart rate going? Thirty seconds from time to scrum. No, it's my advice to. I told Jeremy Thrush at the end of the game, if I can just give you one piece of advice, don't become a coach. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I just felt probably, I actually almost felt we probably deserved to win the other two games almost more, certainly last week. Sure, there were a couple of moments in that game I thought we were very unlucky with some of the some of the things that happened and I thought we deserved to win that game almost more than we deserved to win tonight, but that's how it goes sometimes, you know. It's very stop start for all time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't think it was a great game. I don't think we 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 played at our best. I think we certainly played better last week and probably the week before as well. And uh, but that's what sometimes happens. And I, I think we moved we moved to Perth at the start of this week to try to, you know, when you're more than a month on tour, it can it can hotels and all that it can and bus trips and all that can can get a bit much. And I felt that we needed to just lift the energy a little bit. So change of scenery from being in Canberra. Um, I've got a. I've got a, a, an ABC policy, which is anywhere but Canberra. Um, so I implemented that at the start of the week, and we got ourselves to got ourselves to Perth. And um, yeah, I think I think uh, there's a lot of people that got one eye on just on going back and seeing family and that sort of stuff now. And that, I think a little bit of that showed maybe in the start of the performance in a way. Yeah, week yeah. off, I think. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Up to the game, I think is the plan. Yeah, so. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, no, no. Look, I think the energy of being at home, Nick, is just is special for us, you know. Like, and uh, um, yeah, just excitement of being playing back at home. We haven't done that for, for ages, you know. We've played that many games on the road, so it's, it's nice to nice to do that. Yeah. So the the last game we play against the Waratahs, that's away. So we got the, the rest of the rest of the block away until the, the last game of the round robin. Is that the yeah. That's right. Yeah. What? Four. Oh, so War, it's, Waratahs, it's Brumbies, four. Reds. All of them. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank thanks. you, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're the model, eh? Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good trip back. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.